Welcome to Muscle in the Morning, brought to you by Iron Mag Labs. Make your mark. I'm Dave Palumbo, and today is Monday, August 29th, 2016. And let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. We're getting down to the wire in the race to snag the last few remaining qualifications for this year's Olympia weekend. And nowhere was that more apparent this weekend than down in sunny South Florida at the Naples Pro Bikini Championships. After the dust finally cleared on an intense night of action, it was a spectacular Kathleen Radulik who had ended the evening besting an excellent lineup from top to bottom. Second place finisher Marsha Kongalves brought in one of her better looks of the season and managed to hold off surging rookie third place finisher Anita Herbert. Fourth place went to N. Katharina Shokahina, who was solid in her pro debut. And rounding out the top five was Beth Transu, who brought one of her best looks of the season. We're only a few days away from kicking off one of the busiest weekends on the calendar in the steel city of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, with the IFBB North American Championships and Masters Pittsburgh Pro Championships. And if you're looking for a dark horse that might come in and shake things up a bit in the classic physique division, it might not be a bad idea to hitch your wagon to rookie pro Rick Canamar. A few weeks ago, Canamar made his pro debut down at the Dexter Jackson Classic, where he brought home a very respectable fifth place finish in a tough lineup. Now that he's had a few weeks to revise and revamp the game plan a little bit, Canamar is ready to come back sharper and fuller with his best look yet. If you can remember back to last year's North American Championships, it was on this very same stage that Canamar wound up earning his IFBB Pro card. And if he can manage to catch lightning in a bottle again, there might be a real chance that he can find a way to pull out the win. I'm not a fan of anointing champions too early in sports because there are a million and one different crazy things that can happen. But new four week out photos of reigning and defending 212 champion Flex Lewis popped up over the weekend and are starting to make me reconsider my policy. Lewis looks like he's light years ahead of where he was at this point last year and might actually be on pace to bring in the best level of conditioning that we've seen from him since that magical run in 2014. At his best, King Flex is far and away the most unstoppable 212 force on the planet. But titles are won on the stage, not under fluorescent lights in the gym. So if he's going to take the next step towards immortality, there's no backing off the accelerator now. It's been a while since we've heard anything from Nick Tregilli. The former USA overall champion made his rookie debut back at last year's Europa Atlantic City Pro, where he wound up taking sixth in a deep lineup that included a couple of soon-to-be Olympians. Since he announced that he'd be taking the entire 2016 season off to give his body and mind a chance to rest, Tregilli's made his best effort to keep a pretty low profile so far this year. But over the weekend, a few new photos dropped that show the 260 plus pound beast in training looking about as big as we've ever seen him. When he's in shape, Trujilli has some excellent tools to work with, and at times he's shown some flashes of brilliance. And with another solid six months or so before it's time for him to jump back into the grind, it looks like Trujilli is lining up the weapons to go at it full bore in 2017. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning, brought to you by Iron Mag Labs. Make your mark. Check out IronMagLabs.com today. I'm Dave Palumbo, reminding you to always be true to your passions, and make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Hey guys, it's Stevie B here. If you like what you're seeing, hit the subscribe button below and never miss another RX Muscle show, segment, or update. RX Muscle is number one. Woo!